Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, uh, today we're going to be doing talking about surface area of other composite objects. All right, so our goal is to de determine the surface area of composite objects and justify our work. Now we're going to be dealing with some cylinders, um, triangles, and some rectangular prisms. So we need to know a few formulas for area in order to calculate the surface area. So the surface area of a rectangle is going to be length times width. So we could do that. We have length times width and we get the area inside a rectangle. If we have a square, we go x times x and inside is x squared. We remember that from the beginning of this unit. Now a triangle, all right, if we have a triangle, we have the base times the height. And if this were a square, yeah, we just go base times height. But because it's a triangle, we go base times height divided by 2. All right? And we're going to be getting into a little bit more complicated triangle formulas um, later on when we have to use Pythagoras to find that height. And next we have a circle, which is pi r squared. And our radius is from the middle to the edge. All right? Next, we need to know the circumference of a circle as well. So the circumference is another word for perimeter. And we use our radius again, and we just go 2 times pi times r. Now, sometimes we have to cut shapes up into their basic shapes to find the actual area. So a cylinder is an example of what we need to do to cut them up. So with a cylinder, we have two circles, the top and the bottom. And just like we talked about, a toilet paper roll, we would roll out the sides. So let's make our radii, a radius, and a radius is right there. And what we're going to do now is if we unravel a paper towel, toilet paper, this length right here is actually the circumference. And this length is our height. All right? So what we have then is we're going to take the circumference, which is 2 pi r, and we're going to multiply by h to get the surface area of our pull-out. And we're going to use the surface area of a circle, which is pi r squared. Now, that's for one circle, but we have two of them, so in the end, we're going to get the surface area of a cylinder will be 2 pi r squared, which is the top and the bottom, plus the side, which is 2 pi r times h. And I will always give you the formulas. It is a good idea to memorize those but I will always give them to you. All right, let's go down and try a couple of these bad boys. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to find the surface area of this object, and it is a composite object. It's a 3D triangle with a rectangular prism, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut it up to let us uh, make this a little bit easier. As you can see, there's a rectangular prism there, and we've got to label this. All right, so we've got A, B, C, D. And this back piece is going to be E. And our bottom place is going to be F. All right, so let's do the surface area of A. And it's going to be 8 times 4. And we have two of them. We have that other side. So we need to multiply it by 2. And we get 64 centimeters squared. Next we have B, and we're just going to do B by itself, so that's going to be 3 times 4, and we get 12 centimeters squared. Next we've got D, all right, so D is going to be a triangle, and we've got the base, which is 8, and our height. Now this is a tricky part here. We've got to find our height of this piece right here. Well, we know that the total is 10, and we know that this piece right here is 4, so we go 10 minus 4, and our height of our triangle is 6. So we're going to multiply it by 6, 
and we divide that by 2. Now, we have two sides, so we also need to multiply that by 2. So 6 times 8 is 48, divided by 2 is 24, times 2 is just 48 centimeters squared. All right, so we've done A, B, D, I skipped C, let's go back to C, and we know that it's 10 centimeters by 3 centimeters, and we only have one of them, so it's going to be 30 centimeters squared. Next, we've got to do E, which is our back, and we've got, it's 10 by 3 as well, and we only have one of them. And then we've got to do F, which is our bottom, which is 8 times 3. And we only have one of them as well. And we add all these bad boys up, and we get 208 centimeters squared. All right, let's go turn down. And you notice with that one, you guys, I broke it down. Broke it down into steps. And this is just like wedding cake, so we're going to go surface area equals... 2 pi r squared, which is our top and bottom, plus 2 pi r times h. All right. So we're going to do our bottom one first. We'll do that in blue. And our other one's going to be b. All right. So a, we've got 2 times pi times our radius, which is half of our diameter, which is 13 squared. All right. Plus our side. So we've just done the bottom and the top, and now we're going to do our side, which is 2 times pi, which times r, which is 13, times our height, which is 5. And our bottom is 1061.85 plus 408.4. We add those two bad boys together, and we get 1470.25 centimeters squared. Now, the most important point right here is that we don't need to actually do the top and bottom of B. We just need to do the side, all right, because there's going to be that overlap and we're going to take it away, so we're just not going to do it in the first place. So surface area, and we don't need to do our top and bottom, so we're just going to go 2 times pi times r times h, and we get 2 times pi, our r is half of 14, which is 7, and our height is 5. So our surface area is going to be 219.9 centimeters squared. We're then going to add these two numbers together and we get a total surface area of 1690.1 centimeters squared. All right, I'd like you to try those out.